Hi all, this is Deepa. Welcomes you all to this video session at Gyan Deepa. It's all about some important tips to make your Google Meet as secure as possible. We know that it's not 100% secure anyway. Anyway, by following 5 tips, I'm going to share you 5 important tips. By following these few, uh, few tips, you can make your online session as secure as possible. So don't skip the video, watch it till the end and make your online session secure. So let's get started. So the first step is here for you that is before setting a Google Meet session you have to start with Google Calendar app I think all of you are familiar with that so um, it's detail, in detail everything explanation included in my channel about Google Calendar how to set all those things how to set timings how to furnish all the details everything is there so first for that you have to give the title after that what you have to do you have to click on more options then you can see that the three boxes they are guest permission so invite others and see guest list both these boxes you have to uncheck make sure that it is unchecked that is the first step then you click on save then your first step is com uh, successfully completed okay so, so the second tip is can you guess at what is that because in the first portion we have just uh, given the permission to the guest only and we furnished all the details and uh, we were not created any sort of uh, link so here the next step add google meet conference link you can see that when you click on that the link will be generated there then you can see the link is live okay so the link will be live so you have to give the link only 10 minutes prior to your event taking place that you have to keep it in your mind because whenever you are um, creating a calendar ev event you will be uh, distributing or sending the details uh, days before or months before or weeks before and from there onwards your uh, google meet link will be live so anybody with this link can join this one they can use it for that so make sure that you are providing or you are creating only the link 10 minutes before you are even taking place that is a very very important step okay so uh, that is it then you can share that one you can set the remainder also whenever whenever we need to send you can create the calendar even and save it accordingly date wise whenever it's required you can send it accordingly you can click on edit you can give the uh, meet link then you will they will be able to join so anybody is having with this link they can join to our session without any sort of of asking permission to join okay that is it about second tip so the third tip is our link is shared with our participants or guests then they can join without asking the permission that is a specialty anybody is having with that link they can join without permission they can join directly with that link if anybody is asking permission that means they are not uh, inside the domain okay so before providing the permission you have to check whether the person is um, right person for your meeting and uh, in accordance with that only you have to admit otherwise deny okay so here is your fourth tip that is uh, you have to get the permission uh, before recording the session okay so before recording you have to get the confirmation from the participant you can also request to switch off the camera while recording the session no problem at all um, whenever it is required you can ask them to switch on so whenever you are recording the session please make sure that you got the permission for recording okay so fifth tip is very very important don't forget to per perform this one uh, 
Uh, after this one go back to your calendar what you have to do you can see that google meet link live is here so you just click on this into that close button then that link will be removed from your calendar event then that will not be available at all otherwise they uh, they can make use of the same link for uh, joining for uh, conducting another meeting and all so you please remove the link from calendar so let's recap first step use your google calendar second tip Add link 10 minutes prior to your Google meeting. Third tip, only give permission to the participant. And tip four, ask permission before recording. And So tip number five is, go back to your calendar and remove the link we have already created by just click on, clicking on that video conference link and then that link will not be available to access it again. So make it as a practice. Soon after your use, you can remove the link. Then that will be inactive. So these are the five tips you can make use of uh, to your Google session to make your session as secure as possible. So let's protect ourselves from all the social labels move together so sharing and carrying the useful in information is the mission of gyan Deepam. okay hope this is useful for you if it is so don't forget to like 